clearly see this at the center of the screen, so everything is fine. Uh, so then after we escaped, we had this whole scene when Quark tried to kill himself with a scalpel, and then Alice took it and ran off with it. Then we went searching for Alice, but we couldn't find her until in the end, we saw her in the crew quarters dead. And then I screamed, and then my parents got mad, and, well, I'm not screaming like that again. <laughs> but we're going right into here. Just, just, we're just going back. Don Kamikaze is hosting us. Thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. No one here, huh? Damn. Where did he... Where did she go? And suddenly the world shifted. For just an instant, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled and then, just as I had begun to adjust, it was gone. As if nothing had happened. What was that? It was the same sensation I'd felt when the, when I saw the vision of the bombs exploding. Had it been a premonition? The host of fellow kin who is not playing the same game as everyone. <laughs> Thanks, dude. This is bad. I need to find Alice now. But where could she be? Damn it, Alice, where are you? We get to choose. That's fun. You know what? Let's go here first. What about the crew quarters? Yeah. Yeah. It has to be it. I set off at a I set off at a dead run. First time playing it? Not really. I played it myself a while back, but after this I will be playing Zero Time Dilemma, which will be my first time actually playing it. Except for maybe the intro. I played the intro myself, but then I stopped myself and was like, Hey, we gotta stream this! It was very interesting. Anyway. Don't expect much from Zero Time Dilemma. Yeah, I heard people say that it's the most disappointing, but I've also seen articles saying it's the best one. So I don't know. I'm just looking for some sweet, sweet closure of this story. Um, even if it's a little bit disappointing, uh, even though, even if the fragmented uh, nature of it may be not so great, uh, I'm still gonna try to get some enjoyment out of it. I'm still excited for some some blind zero escape on this channel. So, the moment I entered the crew hallway, I made straight for the door to the number two room. Alice should be in here. I swallowed and threw open the door. Alice, so you were here. As I spoke, her eyes turned toward mine, but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly, and one of her hands held the scalpel like I'd caught her in the middle of something. Really like how I'm trying to like follow the sentence and then it just kind of suddenly stops so that the tonation of it was kind of off. Thank you, game. What are you doing here? It's okay. I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalpel. No. Well, that's a clear answer. I need it to get this bracelet off. Huh? Remember what Zero Jr. told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... Stop! Before I even finished the word I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, clipping the microphone, pulling the blade away from her chest. No! Let me go! I have to do this! I can't take it anymore! This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from. The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die! Knock it off! With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. <sighs> 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 I 
It was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. Apparent, I did, I did, I'd apparently cut myself getting the damn thing away from her. Very quickly, it progressed from from a dull throbbing to a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. She didn't respond when I shook her. Hey, are you alright? Alice, say something! There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seemed she'd only passed out. Shit! What am I supposed to do now? Oh man, maybe the infirmary. It's got all those medical things. Buoyed by the by adrenaline, I hefted Alice's body and took off toward the infirmary. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. Ah, yes, medical things. Surely those will be of help. Syringe here, pill there. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Oh, yikes. If I had called everyone else back after I brought Alice to the infirmary. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no. No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. It's a special antiviral treatment. The results are identical to Quark's. She is really a little boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way. A nice, nice way of... of uh, interpreting her words. <laughs> Whether or not there's any around here, though. No! No! Oh, Alice! I don't want you to die! Please! Please don't die! I don't want to be alone! Don't die! <laughs> Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. None of us had the heart to pull her off, so all we could do was stand and watch uncomfortably. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Alright, Dio! <laughs> Thanks! All players, please enter your votes. Cleaver's losing it, not a good sign. Oh no, if 999 is anything to... To base anything off. Um, also, is the volume all right? Maybe I don't know if it's like a little bit too loud. Usually, I put it like a little bit softer. Maybe this is all right. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Ah, uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. What about Alice and Quark? I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. No! I'm not leaving! Clover. I'm staying here! Like heck I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! Like heck I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! That smile is fucking weird. She's going to be fine. Like, there's, there's moments where you can just look over it, but, like, then there's moments like this, and she's, like, smiling. Okay, let's continue. Um... I gave her some Soparil. Heck! She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. The smile is one that one thing that wasn't really obvious on the 3DS. <laughs> and then it came to the PC. Yikes. 
Anyways. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Everything's coming up Sigma, huh? Apparently it was obvious on the Vita too. Yeah, the Vita had a bigger screen and a higher resolution. So yeah, you were definitely able to see it on there. What a lucky, lucky man you are. You two are going to be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to Ally. That means if she stays here, the two of you are going to be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. Hey. After all, you've got six BP right now. Yeah, but your name is Dio. You suck. A friend of yours started playing this as recently you kept interpreting it as a plot point, not just lazy animation. <laughs> you played it on the Vita, it was great. I remember playing the demo on 3DS originally, and I also I played 999 on the, on the DS. And I got the knife ending, and then I just stopped playing because was, I was like, fuck it, I'm not playing this all over again after just getting stabbed in the back. That was the least satisfying ending ever. <laughs> And then I played it a few years later on PC and was like... <sighs> well, I missed out on a bunch of things. You got the submarine ending as the first one. That's a lot more interesting. Yeah. I just got... <sighs> Nothing. Best is, <laughs> the best is when you get the axe first. Clover, 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 Clover. <laughs> Are you saying I'm gonna choose Betray? Your first inning was to be continued. Right. I gotcha. It was the, um... The, uh... God damn it, I lost the word. Sorry, I'm Dutch, so sometimes, uh... My vocabulary has a little bit of a gap. I sometimes just forget words. Um, the... E everyone is apparently dead, yeah. Except for one, I'm pretty sure. But I, I won't be, I won't be spoiling that because we didn't get the submarine ending on my streams. Anyways. If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. Also, like, something really cool that I just, like, I just heard or saw, like, online. Something that's very interesting was uh, June's Fever in 999. Because, like, I'm, like, I'm assuming I can, like, talk about it. I'm not going to, like, spoil all the plot points, but, um... I, I'm just gonna keep this vague except for the fact that like June's fever was like her actually burning which is like really interesting the people who have seen 999 you should be able to connect the dots um, apparently iOS had a syringe ending you mean the one with no gameplay it sounds interesting as an ending But, uh, I ain't playing that. You bastard. There's no way I'd do that. The game with no gameplay, yeah. Is that so? Yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the only one making this decision. Loon is my partner, and she'll be in the AB room with me. You really think she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um. Actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. Great backup, Luna. Thank you. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up! Um... What? If I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? Yeah, but it's similar to the axe in the sense that the clover kills you using the syringe, which makes you down as you fall asleep. It couldn't have been anyone else? That's so stupid. Clover's ending with the axe was fine. And thank you for the follow. 
really appreciate it. Thank you. Should all three of you abstain, then you would all be guaranteed to ally, correct? Nope, doesn't work like that. Why not? Here, take a look at this. I pulled the scrap of paper we'd found out of my pocket. Huh? What's this? We found it when we went to the to the archives. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. Nothing in the garden either. A Toby Hunter! Oh boy, I remember this game. Thank you for the bits, dude. This game is fun. I finished this myself too, but I, I really can't wait to play Zero Time Dilemma again. Uh, again, I mean blind uh, for the first time. I've only played the intro of that game, but I have finished this one uh, pretty recently actually. And I was like, I gotta stream this and then stream Zero Time Dilemma blind because it's just too interesting, man. The stuff that it like talks about, the things it explains and the things like it, that, the things that make you think so cool it's so cool anyways i guess they only put one in the archives i'm hoping your stream thumbnail ends up being this being his hand injury <laughs> maybe maybe i usually just put up one of the characters like one of the more important characters of uh um uh, of uh of, uh, of an episode in the thumbnails um, and usually I don't really, I don't really thumbnail the streams here on Twitch, I, but I do, uh, upload my, uh, thumbnails, uh, to, to YouTube because I uh, have archived, tr archived streams there. Anyways. So you'll be able to see it on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. My brain with its twists and turns, why can't you just say things easily sometimes? Anyways, whatever, I'll just read it for you. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. Get it? The whole team can't that abstain. Means either Dio or Tenmyoji is going to have to vote then, and they're playing against Alice. Oh. I guess playing against is a little generous. PTSD of Teddy. Teddy? What do you mean, why Teddy? From Persona 4? Oh, right, because of the puns. Please be bear for this unbearable bear of a battle! <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks betray... I knock it off. On cheer 15. <laughs> Darn! It didn't work. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I gonna choose betray. Oh, oh. Zaterdag niet. En de afgelopen week ook gewoon nauwelijks. Dus dit is eventjes. Oh, pap, dus enige moment. Oké, nou, ga je zo even kijken hoe dan dit video. Ik heb hier maar twee keer in de week de tijd voor. Ja. Dus om tien uur kan ik bij je komen. En hij is te laat. Dan, ik, ik heb niet de tijd om het helemaal voor je te bekijken. Fucking hell. You do know her BP's at one, right? What do you think would happen to her if I did that? I wouldn't put it past you. What? Call it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. I'd planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that luxury. I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. 
got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma? Yeah, thanks. That's a relief. Exactly. Oh, man. Everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. <sighs> Is that Soldier 76? <laughs> what do you mean, accident? Oh! Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh... Well, I mean... That's not exactly important. Look, it wasn't important. I'm not an accident I was playing. Just forget about it. The real... The real Laramix. Soldier 76 cross the greatest showman crossover. Maybe, maybe. Also, welcome to the stream, dude. How are you doing? Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Dio. Time's running out, people. Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? I'm doing good, too. You're staying, too? Yeah. Something does happen. Clover might need a hand. Aren't you a solo? You're playing against Kay and Quark, but with Quark out, that means Kay would get to decide this whole round. Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have six BP? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? What happens when he gets 9 BP? I'm not worried. Kay won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. You just know? What the fuck is wrong with you? Something happened between Fi and Kay while they were out exploring? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? Hold on. Is this... Yeah, that's a little better. I will vote for our team. Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bullshit. Four minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Come on! We need to hurry! Hmm. All right, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. With that, we were off. I gave one last quick nod to Fi and Clover before heading back to the warehouse at a dead run. Everybody ready? I'm going to open my AB gate. Although I guess that doesn't really matter. Do you already opened one earlier? Then only you and I remain. Right. Okay. Let's go. So guys, um, just a little bit till you guys get to vote. Two more AB gates slid open. We all shared one last look at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. Hold on. I'm gonna start up the poll real quick. Oh. Oh, hold on. The bot was, uh, was dis disconnected for a reason. It was connected before. It's weird. Well, we're here right now, so... Whatever. Let's start the poll. Uh, let me load it up. AB. And I'll give you guys two minutes. Hold on. Yeah. 
So you guys get to type uh, exclamation point vote, and then zero for ally and one for betray. Two minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? Exclamation point zero for ally. Exclamation point vote one for betray. No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Huh? There's something white on it. There's what? <laughs> what? What the hell is this? By the way, if uh, Ally and Betray are 50-50 uh, split, it'll be like we're not voting and we're defaulting to Ally. Yes, I just improvised that. <laughs> For the first time I found first time since I'd found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hand. was coming from the cut I'd given myself when I grabbed the scalpel away from Alice. But why? Where was the blood? I felt a very odd sort of fear began to wrap its hand around my throat. Quickly, I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you alright? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. It was some milk and I spilled it. It sounded even stupider as I said it. Really? Yeah. But... Just shut up! It's fine, alright? I'm fine, leave me alone! I regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth, but something was wrong. Very wrong, and my head was spinning. Sigma. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I just, it's, just don't worry about it, okay? Sigma is walking bottle of whiteout confirmed. <laughs> milk. <laughs> it's milk. 30 seconds remain. Until polling closes. <laughs> Nothing says you're fine sh when shouting, I'm fine, okay? Get off my back! Uh! <laughs> there was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. Calm down. Just calm down. You need to think about the AP game right now. Just forget about your hand. Who was I kidding? There's no way I could forget about something like that. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. One. We voted ally. Also, come join the Discord. <laughs> Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed.
Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Luna and I. Oh. Luna and I. God. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could, I could see the others filing out of their rooms as we did. So you chose Ally after all. Yeah. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing: a mysterious white liquid. Do you want to go see the results? Sure. Luna nodded and walked off toward the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching, and they opened my hand. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out, since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit in my hand. What the hell is this? It, it couldn't be blood, could it? No. Oh, that, that was impossible. No matter how many how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. And I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of life, I'd seen my body bleed many times. Scra scraped knees as a kid, accidental tri accidental nicks with a knife as an adult, but every single time I bled red, like any other human being. So why was it that this time it was white? What in the hell is happening to me? Hey, Sigma, what are you doing? I'm just having an existential crisis, okay, Neo? Just leave me alone for a second. Get the hell over here. They're gonna show the results. Okay. Yeah, right. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Also, Applecows, how are you doing? Please direct your attention to the results screen. <laughs> Sweet! We all allied. Nice. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. accordingly. Please check your, your bracelet, bracelet po to see your updated bracelet, bracelet points. This is incredible. Everyone allied? Something's wrong. Look, everyone voted ally. This is cl this is clearly the worst timeline. Now Dio is that much closer to getting out. That's what we're all hoping for, right? Heck yeah. I'll suck ya. Mm, I'm not finishing that name. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How you doing? You did just like you promised, Kay. How could I choose Betray after what Fi said to me? Ten Miyoji and Dio voted ally too. And why is this crazy music on right now? Of course. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Yeah, well, that's about it, I guess. We should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Yeah, Dio is such a good guy. I really hope he manages to leave this place alive. Oops, they meant to <laughs> betray. I mean, uh, what? <laughs> then thank you very much, Sigma. Sigma? Sigma, are you alright? Yes! Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, um, looks like we all allied. That's great. 
Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What happened? You make it past at Luna and get shot down? No, nothing like that. Hey man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumble of door shutting echoed through the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. We can open the gates as many times as we want to? Then, that means... We can play the AB game as many times as we like. Yay! Right? Hey, Zero Jr. said something about this, didn't he? Yeah, right. Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. Everyone nodded and held their arms to out toward him. I stared at, stared at them, terrified to follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion. So I held my arm out, hand tightened into a white knuckled fist to hide the cut. When their eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. Our skin is a little bleaker than usual, I think. So Dio and Kay are a yellow pair. Makes sense. <laughs> Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? Apparently a so. red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. Probably. Why is that? Didn't you see them? There are a bunch of white doors in the Floor B warehouse. They have to be the next set of chromatic doors. Yeah. Ah, yes. Fine, I saw them as well. On our way back from the garden with the unconscious Quark. And there they were. Each one had a box, just like the doors on Floor A. Given that, I don't see how there can be any question. Those white doors are our next set of chromatic doors. I think that our bracelet combinations will have to add up to white in order to open the secondary doors. The pairs are cyan, magenta, and yellow. You see? Yeah. If we need to make white, then the other three colors would have to be red, green, and blue. Nah, guys, I got white by myself. Hey, um. Right. Did we just drop to two viewers? That was soon. Good. Quick. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check up on Quark and Alice. I shall accompany you then. Might as well go with you, I guess. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I... I need to talk to Sigma about something. Okay. <laughs> about what? Something. Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something wrong with me. They just wanted to vote. <laughs> that was what she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. Okay, fine. 
I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Whoa, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. Nope. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> Fine, whatever. See if I care. Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest and marched out the yellow door. Tenmyoji and K quickly followed. In only moments, all three had disappeared. So, uh... What was it that you wanted to talk about? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act if I was, as if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? Um, okay. Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. I kept my mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed off. The garden? You know this place? Yes, well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for Alice. Oh, I see. So, uh, what brings you here? What is brings you here? Nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. Her smile is a little. Oh! There we go, that's better. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel... happy. Nice. Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? She, sh she sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. So, what do you want to talk about? Talk to me about? Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pendants she wore into the palm of her hand. She was silent for a moment and then began to talk. Can I tell you something? This is actually a music box. Ooh. Really? Yes. She twisted the key on the bottom and it made an almost imperceptible whining noise. And she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring that up, though? Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Maybe it's because I'm so shy, but I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. Oh. So I've sort of always been alone. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... It hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to... Collapse from the inside out. Oh. Uh... when I got this music box. Someone very important gave it to me. They didn't say anything, but I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Do you know Major Link's The Bluebird? Yeah. Well, I know the gist of it. I think it starts on Christmas Eve. This brother and sister named Tiltil and Mittil get asked to find a blue bird by this old woman. And they travel to the dream world. Or something. Anyway, supposedly if you can catch this bird, then you can make a wish come true. So they visit all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually they give up and go home, but when they wake up, the bird is in a birdcage in their hut. That's right. 
It's a well-known story. And it teaches a simple lesson. Yeah, like you said. Happiness is closer than you think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but... I really felt like that was what they'd meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, like a kind of good luck charm. But... One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. Hmm? In Maeterlinck's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Mittel try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. Whoa. What about the moral, then? It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you'll lose it again. I thought about that for a while. But in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. No. No, this is Sigma. What? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. What are you trying to say? Can I ask you something? Um, sure. Where did you find Alice? Uh, what does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. Where did you find Alice? Ooh. Room two in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we'd split up uh, to go for to go look for Alice. The first place I went was the lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where you found Alice, and then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Y yeah. Okay. Tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Well, you see, I. Uh... Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking for Alice, didn't you? Yeah... That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. So tell me, Sigma, how do you know about this place? You're really asking me these difficult questions with that really nice... Cold tone of voice. Uh. <laughs> well, um, I didn't know what to say. I I couldn't even explain it to myself. Why had I told her I knew about the garden? Why had I told her I'd been here before? Sigma, are you are you a robot? Have you always been here? Uh, what? You're surprised you still like this game, like this game series, despite your seething distaste for metaphysics. Okay. I don't really know what to think of metaphysics. Um, I do think it's really cool. Um, the, I do think the, the, the theories that they explore throughout the games are interesting. Is it, is it making things up to impress the girl? I know about the garden. See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden, and, and it would explain that cut on your left hand. Oh. All right, I think I just glanced over a single line. Hold on. Oh, are you a robot? <laughs> oh. 
Damn, so you did see it, huh? Yes. I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. Abbed. It makes them look almost exactly like a human. Oh. And ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. Hmm. For some reason, when, a Lu when Luna had called me a robot, it hadn't really phased me. Maybe because it was just so out there. It didn't sound like a real possibility. It sounded more like a theory you'd get from someone in a nut house. Still, my hand was still oozing white liquid. Was I really a robot? Am I in Soma? No, 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 no that was impossible. I needed to stop doing that. Questioning myself so much was giving me a heart palpitations. <laughs> Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a pretty good chance Zero is pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Why not? Hmm. Maybe because you're a robot. Huh? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov that he used in several of his stories. Mm. Rule one, show a random robot in the background. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Rule two, a robot must obey any orders given to it by human beings, except when such order would conflict with the first law. Rule 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Oh yeah, I've heard those before. That's just an ideal though. You could work toward that, but I don't think you could ever actually achieve it. I mean, depending on how you program them, robots could do pretty much whatever you want, whatever they wanted to. Yes, you're right. But I believe in them. In you. However you're programmed. She is definitely assuming that I'm a robot. She is taking this theory as the cold hard truth. <laughs> sure, I'm programmed. I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. Y you sure? A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. You have a heart. You're a good person. It's in your eyes. Oh. Well, I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. Yeah. <laughs> There's still a chance you're not. We should run some tests. Tests? Yes. Um, how? Well, the Atom should be able to tell us. Oh yeah, that thing in the infirmary. I heard the crunch of dried leaves behind us. But when I turned, there was nothing. Who is it? Is is someone there? Just me. Fi? Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Luna and I looked at one another, shrugged and stepped into the bushes. Fi creeping. Welcome. What? How long have you been here? I just got here a little while ago. Did you hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? No. Yes. Whatever. Just have a look at this. I followed the line of her finger. Alright! Shit! This... This is... An antimatter bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. It says a one. And the one in the crew quarters said three, right? Then that must mean... Shit. And there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere? I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Maybe even a four or a five bomb. Damn it. That means we're dealing with a combined explosive power equal to three equal to three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean, you've been in here quite a while. Hey, don't get me that! You're way more suspicious than we are! What were you doing in the bi in the bushes anyway? Well, uh, I was taking a walk. Yeah. Taking a walk. You really think I'm going to buy that? Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret. So I got curious and went back to the floor A warehouse. Fair enough. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. And just as I'd suspected, there you were talking on the bench. Mm. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. That was quite the suspicion you had. Then, just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So, believe me now. So, who planted the bomb? Honestly, it could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. We need to tell everyone about this then. Yeah, you're right. Let's head back to the infirmary. Oh gosh. Everyone else was already there when we arrived. Clover and Tamioji. K and Dio. And of course, Alice and Quark. Both seem to be sleeping peacefully. You'd never think to look at them that they had been in completely that they'd been completely insane not so long ago. Alright, everybody, listen up. I told them how we'd found the number one bomb in the garden. Now, judging by the numbering on the two bombs we'd found so far. There was probably a number two bomb out there somewhere, too. Oh, this is bad. What are we going to do? Well, I think Alice mentioned something. There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Yeah. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. What if there's an ape? I beg your pardon? You heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. So you're planning to search us for it? Exactly. But... No buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's because you've got it and you planted the bombs. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? Pretty clear. Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm. Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? What? Because I figured out who I figured out who did it. I I know who did it. The words are out of my mouth before I even realized that I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I met Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs! That person!
You did it! The room is suddenly silent. To be continued. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to save over here. Uh, just on this second file. I'm just gonna, I don't know why, but I don't know why I got a second file. I can just do this on one file, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, let's return. And then we get back to here. So, as we could see last time when we ended this route, or ended, um, we got to this part. Uh, we got to a game over, and then we got this green book with a question mark that was open that meant we could continue. Two files equals two, two times more fun. <laughs> and now we've got this black icon with a book that's closed instead. That means we don't have the information yet to get through here. And then you think, oh... We 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 can only get information from one. We can we can only go through this like consciously once, you know. Uh, you can, you can't you can't just get information from this future to get to here. Um, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I am dead tired. Uh, so and I need to help my dad out with something. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to end it today and then tomorrow at the same time. So 8 p.m. Central European time or 11 a.m. Pacific time or 2 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be back with Virtue's Last Reward. I'll finish. Well, I'll do another stream tomorrow. So to make up for this, because uh, right now I just really got to stop. I'm tired and there's stuff I need to do. So. Thank you guys all, much, all so much for hanging out with me, for, for coming to my stream, for checking me out, following the, to some people. Some people follow me, one of which has a name that I don't want to say. I'm looking down at you down there in the corner. Bonus stream! I know, right? So we'll do that instead. Um, if you haven't given me a follow yet, then please consider doing so. It really helps me out, and you'll be updated on whenever we go live. Uh, you can also... Uh, subscribe to me on the YouTubes and follow me on Twitter and you can also join the discord it's a pretty sweet place where right now it's kind of quiet but it's still pretty chill um yeah that's it um thank you all so much for watching and see you guys next time bye bye